The only Australian to ever win an Elite Series event, Carl Jacobson. Living up to his motto, which is fear my heart. And man, you better fear this guy's heart. Because what? Hooked up. Oh my god, giant Smalley. Giant Smalley. Please stay on. Please stay on, son. Boy, that is a big one. Stay on, baby. Stay on. Please stay on. Yes! Oh, I can well, tell you. That's a beautiful small mouth. That feels good. Lake Champlain. She's being mean to me today. But that's why we wait. Big jig. Oh, man, girl. You made me wait. I'm going to have two hours to get one more bite to get in this hunt. Three and three quarter. Oh yeah. Oh, nearly That's four pounds. Wow. Okay. We're going in there. Beautiful smallmouth. They do amazing things in the truck. If we can go oh, back and man, look at right so when good. he got that bite, I can talk about it. It's just a perfect example of how when you'll get your biggest smallmouth bite on a jig or two. Watch his rod tip. See, see, oh, if we could back up a hair more than that. I, I know I'm asking a lot, but the viewers will, I think, will love this. If we can back up a hair past it. I mean, this is great to watch, and we might have to watch this out. But just before that, you can see him actually get the bite. This is beautiful here, though. It really is. Well, Davey Height, uh, I mean, hey, he wants better replays. Guys, well, get, get, get it It's awesome, but it just... Uh, all right, here we go. You see him in the rock. You see his rod want to bend there. He's in a rock. It pulls up. Now, when he goes back, he's going to get hung on the rock. Basically. See right there? Now, when he pops it off, this is when you better beware for... for watch him. He pops it the second time it comes off. That's when you get the bite. When you're fishing a tube or a jig or something, you know, lead on the bottom and you're fishing rock like, when you get it hung and can get it off and it makes that, that jump or that pop, the biggest fish in the bunch will bite that bait more often than not. And we've talked about different ways to fight them. I mean, that that is definitely the... The Larry Nixon rule, you can either rush him in <laughs> or take your time. He did not take his time. No, and that's great. But and then that's a part of him using that jig, the bait caster, the heavier line. And, and and believe it or not, Larry Nixon tried to – he would more often not bring them and swing them too. But sometimes you don't have the heavy enough tackle or equipment, you know, to do that. But that was just a great example, and I appreciate those guys being so great, everybody. Showing me the uh, reefs. And then it's Michael Middleton me. and everyone else being so great. I'm right on that boulder now and show them they're the bite points. They're the ones those smallmouth and big largemouth are going to hold on. And then I'm using live to literally see if there's fish or bait on it and then hit the exact cast. Watch my jig fall, either the back side of it, the front side of it, on top of it. I mean, I'm so efficient, it's insane. I've never been this efficient in my life. This three set up here. That's what you need to compete against these guys. Wow. And big bites. <laughs> Got you good! Wow. Now we're he in. He told us. He's pretty dialed now in also. In yes. Now we're back in the game. He told us we're about back in the game. 10, 30, 11 o'clock. I'm going to fish my big, better stuff later. And he is certainly doing that and, and put him in the boat. 100% said he was holding off this stuff until it got a little brighter. I'm going to put this in the scale. I'm going to see where we got. There you go, Australia. 
It's ironic because you look at that compartment. Never leave my boat. Yesterday I made a joke with him yesterday yeah, morning because I looked in that exact compartment. He had that is 25 different Holy baseball point. hats perfectly organized. If you look at that compartment right now, he has 25 baseball hats. A total mess in there. <laughs> that is when your tournament's going well. That's right. When you have to reach for that <laughs> TH Cullum system there, the balance beam, the clips, the scale, 25, 30 times a day. you doing smallest fish is two pounds eight oh ounces God. oh yeah <laughs> almost almost three and three quarter wow okay. so, big upgrade for carl jacobson smallest one now is number two Boy, like the, 17 in the last half, 10 minutes he's <laughs> called up there? what three and a half four five? pounds he had the four pounder and then that th Three and three quarter and called a two and a so two and a half. The biggest thing, this is what tournament fishing's about, is looking after these fish. Even though they're little, I haven't pierced his lip. Beautiful fish. TH cull clips come off. That fish is 100% healthy. Look at its colors. It's in beautiful condition. It's only small, but it's going to let go. And one day that's going to be a three and a half, four pounder. We've got to look after these things. They're little nuggets of gold. They're gems. I hope everyone gets to experience that one day. Oh, thank you girls.